I'm back. Hi, hello, and welcome. It is me, Jaylene, also known as Fem4. Today, people, we are going to be talking about lists, especially my most favorite, checklists. This list being what I recommend you check off with questions you ask yourself before bumping some fun with someone, i.e. sleeping with someone. And make sure you watch until the very end, question number three, because that's the one who's most important about what you actually really want to know before sleeping with someone. And it goes like this. Number one, what does your body say? And I am not just talking about if you have something burning in your loins for them, which I really hope it's at least lukewarm if you're going to be engaging some heated moments with them. No, what I'm actually talking about is your personal body cues. So basically what I mean by that is, what do you feel down here in your gut feeling? Do you feel frozen? Do you feel jittery? Do you feel warm and excited? Obviously, all these different feelings can mix, so it's really up to you depending on what you think it means for yourself. For example, when I get a frozen feeling in my belly, it means I'm kind of scared of something. Don't just look at your gut though, because there's so many other things. There's your heart rate. You can tell if you're sweaty or not, as well as if you're breathing really fast. Those are all indicators of what you're feeling in that moment. Don't ignore them. Question number two. What do you read from your partner? And I am talking about the five senses, people. I want you to listen to what they're saying. I want you to actually watch and see what their body language looks like. And even if you are consensually touching them, feel what their reaction is to your touch. And now we will be moving on to the final question of the evening. Question number three. What is your intention of exploring yourself with this other person's skin? And when you think of the intention, listen closely, because it's not something that we usually think about of, yes, we just want to get off and have orgasms. If your intention is something about connection and actually thriving and connecting with this other person, that's amazing. A lot of people's intentions, though, can turn into selfish ones or ones that seem unhealthy. So maybe sometimes you're going to actually just want to sleep with someone because you really are just wanting the act of love doted upon you. You really need to feel that from another person in that moment. There's a couple of risk factors to that because not only are you relying on another person to determine that you are lovable and you are can be well received in those moments, but you're not actually relying on yourself to actually find that for yourself. Another one of our tensions could just be simply because we don't really care about that person, but we just actually want to help relieve our sex drive. This one comes with a lot of values attached to it because it's really, are you showing up for this person very truthfully in your intention of wanting to connect with them or you're only doing it for your own reasons and not really actually considering the person that you are sharing skin with. So you reached the end of this video. I hope you really enjoyed it. I hope you actually ask yourself these three questions, an easy little checklist for you before you go off into the world of beautiful sex and orgasms. Remember that I am Jaylene, Fem4. You can also find me on IG, Facebook, Twitter, everything. And click below to subscribe for more fun, cool sex education videos. Thanks so much, everyone, and have a great day. Ah.